Hi, I'm Bill Brigard with Loss Prevention Systems. I wanted to give you a little bit of insight on what to expect when you're expecting a checkpoint system. We're one of our, our great customers here that had a classic street system installed. Uh, the wiring was run underneath the floor in this particular case, so we, we don't have a wire mold. Normally there's a wire mold that goes between the two antennas. And we also need to have power within 10 feet of the antenna. So one side or the other, we need power. In this case, there's an outlet here, which is, which is fine. But also, again, in this case, we ran that power underneath it below us. Prior to our technician's arrival on site, there's a couple of things that you want to consider. First off, if you've got an old EAS system in there and you've decided you're going to remove that yourselves, please have that done well before he arrives on site. The other thing, that you want to consider is if you've got any other merchandise displays or product that's in the area, you're going to want to move that away. The buggies, the carts, anything like that, let's move that out of his way so he understands that he's got a good clear area to work. When he does arrive on site, the first thing you should do with him is discuss uh, the layout itself with him. What are your expectations about placement and where they're going to be? You know, one of the things that we have to consider is that antennas, the system, the checkpoint systems themselves have to be a minimum of 18 inches from this door frame. You can't put them in close. Um, it's going to take that technician about four hours per set of antennas to install it. And there's going to be some dust, drilling, power tool use, that sort of thing. So many of our systems can be connected to the internet. So if you have that option for your system, uh, you're going to want to make sure that the LAN connection is there off of your router. That way, the technician, when he's wiring, will connect these to that LAN connection. And usually, you want to run that connection near where the 110 volt power is going to be. You want to consider merchandise that's adjacent to the system. So you want to keep your racks and, and goods at least a good three feet, I would say four feet away because the, the system has a perimeter around it, which is what you want. Uh, in this case, this piece of merchandise, once it gets up into the antenna, it goes off. So we don't want to display nearby. Um, the other thing that you want to consider when the tech is there, there are different light and sound options. The duration, the audio intensity, uh, you want it low, high, that sort of thing. The technician can set all of that while he's there. Installation day is here, and the checkpoint technicians are going to be in installing uh, your system. It takes a technician about four hours to install a system in a doorway. And during that period of time, they're real good at accommodating your customers and trying to stay out of their way because they know you're open for business and so they, they work around them as best they possibly can. There's going to be some noise and some dust getting the systems installed. That's normal, but the technicians are, are good at what they do and they'll be cleaning up afterwards. Now would be a good time also to start tagging merchandise. You can do that days before you're set up. If you've got clothing items, you know, a good place to tag is on the back collar. Put a hard tag and a pin here. If you've got other merchandise like this handbag, you can also tag and uh, put cable locks, whatever other uh, protection that you want to put on an item. If it's, um, if it's something like this, a book or some other hard merchandise, you can start putting that label on the merchandise itself. Uh, there are a variety of ways of tagging and labeling. If you haven't done so already, look in your welcome kit, that big red box, and my book is in there. It's got information on how to tag, where to tag, um, the philosophy behind it. As part of your installation, you're going to be receiving a welcome kit from Loss Prevention Systems. It's going to be arriving in a big red box, bright red box, can't miss it. And in there are going to be a number of things, but a couple of the more important ones are this manual. Um, this manual is something you should be looking at now, uh, begin looking at. It's, um, it's got a number of things in it that tell you how to tag, where to tag, uh, what to do if you have a false alarm issue or a phantom. But one other thing when you get it is in the pocket, there is a sticker. Um, this sticker is meant to go on your doorway. 
Uh, many state laws require that you notify people that there's uh, an inventory control system on the, on the premises. So it's a good time to get that put in there and not forget about it. Um, also in the welcome kit is going to be a copy of my book, Protect Your Store. Good collection of, of ideas and thoughts on how to stop your shoplifting problem. You, you take what's combined in here with, uh, with the equipment itself you're going to pretty much fix your shoplifting problem. And if you have any questions, obviously give us a call. You know, as a loss prevention systems customer, you uh, have access to our training, our free live uh, training. I conduct these sessions via webinar for you any time you reasonably need it. Uh, there are four sessions that you can, you can choose from and use at any time. Uh, one of them, of course, on shoplifting, two others on employee theft, an advanced and a basic employee theft uh, prevention and detection, and then on pre-employment interviewing. Uh, I teach a skill for pre-employment interviewing that will, will show you or teach you how to uh, get more out of your pre-employment interviews. Uh, a candidate will tell you things like what they've stolen from previous employers or um, what illegal drugs they use. You just have to know how to ask the questions. Those are free to you at any time you reasonably need them. You just have to call us and schedule it. Well, that's it. I hope that this video has helped you with uh, what to expect when you're expecting a checkpoint system. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you in any way we possibly can. Thanks and have a great day.